Yeah, buyer, seller. Now, oh, oh damn it! Who told you that? All right, look, I can't have every Jesse and Jamie off the street, you know, coming in here and asking about this. It's not cool. I'm not exactly licensed, and these weapons aren't precisely legal. If you catch my drift here. Look, now, I appreciate your business, and I'll sell to you, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Keep your nose clean. All right, come take a look then. Are letting up? Or am I the popular one? Let's see. <laughs> Caller, you've got the first shot at Deb tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Hi, Deb. This is, uh, Vigo. Vigo? So, Vigo, why are you up so late? Um, I'm working a late shift here at the uh, yacht club. Uh huh. How many boats do you own, Vigo? I used to do a little yacht on this thing. What brand of yacht do you
What'll it be, honey? Is that a trick question? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? <clears throat> I know I've heard that before. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, weird. She left a tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to The Deb of Night. The only girl who will spend the night with you and leave first thing in the morning, guaranteed. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Aren't I the popular one? Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who will be the lucky caller? You've got the first shot at Deb tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Hi, Deb. This is, uh... Vigo. So, Vigo, why are you up so late? Um, I'm working a late shift here at the uh, yacht club. Uh huh. How many boats do you own, Vigo? Two. Actually, three. Uh, one is uh, in the shop. I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand of yacht do you have? Um, you probably wouldn't know the brand. I uh, bought them in Italy. Ah, la Italia bella. Parlate italiano? Arrivederci, Vigo. Caller two, you're on the Deb of Night. Be gentle. Hi, Deb. Hello, caller. Hi, Deb. Is tonight a rerun? Deb. Caller number three, what's keeping you up tonight? Deb, listen to me, Deb. They're at it again and people have got to know. They've got to know because they don't know. They won't report the stuff on the news because they own the news. Hello, Gomez. What's the latest conspiracy? Conspiracy? This goes beyond conspiracy, okay? There's no word for something as devious and secret as this, you understand? The people need to hear this. They need to know the real story. You've got our undivided attention. All right. As we all know, the Americans established a moon base back in the late 70s. That's no secret. But what most people don't know is that they have been conducting a dig. Not for resources, but for artifacts. I see. 
Well, it's no coincidence that the Chinese have started conducting space missions. You know why? I'll tell you why. The reason is because the Chinese are trying to stop the Americans from finding an ancient space probe sent by the Beta Centaurians. And why? Because the Beta Centaurians are giving space technology to the Chinese to get back at the Andromedans, a.k.a. the Greys, for giving space technology to the Americans in the 50s. Fascinating. The American government's been putting more money into space. Don't you see what's happening? I can't believe I'm the only one that's figured it out. Am I the only person alive that can see what's going on? It's because the Andromedans and the Betas are going to be fighting their war in this galaxy through us, Deb. And the American people, the people of Earth, you people, cannot let this happen. It's Moore versus Atlantis all over again. Thank you, Gomez. And that concludes the news portion of the show. Well, this girl's got to pay her bill, so it's time for a few commercials. But don't go anywhere. I'm just getting warmed up, or should I say, hot. Friggin' Chicken recently challenged several random people to a taste test between Friggin' Chicken and the other leading chicken flavored products. Let's listen for which one they prefer. Ma'am, care to participate in a taste test? Here, try this leading brand of chicken. Oh, oh my gosh! Is that weak old fish? Now, try this. Oh, oh! This is some good f- chicken! What is this? Sir, take a test for me? Sure! Um, oh, oh, seriously, job these up your ass. Here, try this one. Mmm, hey, mmm, mother f***ing great chicken right there. What is this? It's friggin' chicken. This is cat, right? Are you feeding me cat? Try this. Holy f***. F***, that's good. What the f*** is this sh-? Nine out of ten people preferred friggin' chicken over the competition. Why? Because that's some good f***ing chicken. I mean... Friggin' chicken. Friggin' chicken, you'll swear it's the best you've ever had. You love the talking baby movie, and the talking pig, and even the talking car in that show. You know the one I'm talking about. But now prepare for the most hilarious talkingest normally mute object yet. He's Steve Cash, a New York banker and recent whittler down on his luck. And ten makes one hundred. Here's your money, ma'am. Ma'am, I happen to have a glandular problem. That's it. I'm withdrawing all my millions from this bank. Cash! <laughs> She's an ATM machine with the soul of his dead wife. There's something familiar about this ATM machine. I love you. Wow, those marketing guys are geniuses. <laughs> Together, they're learning to make the most of their special situation. So that girl from accounting used me today. Really? She wasn't like everybody else. When she pushed my buttons, she was very gentle. Oh, honey, if you don't stop, I'm going to have to make a deposit. <laughs> Transferring cash. Wednesdays at 8.30 in the BMC. Say goodbye to yellow teeth and spots in your dirty dishes. It's incredible. Look at that shine. Welcome to Gilpatrick 24-hour bail bonds. My name's Arthur Gilpatrick. How can I help? Ancient Egypt. Now there's a dishwashing detergent so powerful, it doesn't just make yep, the dishes Yep, sure do. I'm a third-generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. On the plate to be absorbed into your food. I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours. Plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift, because that's when all the crazy shit happens in San Monica. <laughs> there were two separate incidences of hit and run. Well, my business ain't bad, business I can tell you that much. Santa Monica's gone Western downhill. Can Used to be pretty nice, I guess. We do a higher well, volume now than we did a few years Canada ago, but we gotta deal with a lot more homicide. bail jumpers and crap like, like that. Has never publicly stated his opinion on child pornography. Is it because he's hiding something? Would you want to child Hell yeah! I ain't complaining. I'm in a good position to watch it all just slide right down the tubes. You know what I mean? <laughs> of course, goes with the business. Then you sick the bounty hunter on him. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting back in the day. Takes a good solid set of brass balls. Pardon the expression, Missy, but it takes balls to be a good bounty hunter. Republican Senator Robert Thorne, a candidate not accused of being a murderous child pornographer. In a world where people Yep, damn live good. His name's Carson, and, and he's great at what he does you when he wants to do it. There, I can't Adam seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go to find someone. His greatest foe. Kill them all! All of them! Well, I don't girl. feel right cutting oh. Carson loose I just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Make it Tell you to what, since three. I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. that. 
You're gonna make it. Great, With great. I suppose the first place you should look popular. is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. From that apartment show, one, I think it is. Watch. Maybe in you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in.